Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Boy, oh boy, do we have uh, just a load of goodies today. We had the Nintendo Direct, and now the State of Play. And I have to say, as much as I love my Nintendo IPs, boy, when you see the games that the PS5 is cranking out and the quality visually, um, it really shows the age of the Nintendo Switch. But hey, hey, let, we're here to talk about uh, Sony. And I gotta say, the Baby Step game that they showed in the intro really caught my attention. Um, I have a prediction f for this game. It, it's probably going to just be a really... Uh, people are going to watch stream this, and it's going to be huge on, um, uh, on, on uh, Twitch and all the streaming platforms. If I had a PS5, uh, I, I would totally be playing this. Now, I don't know if Baby Steps is... Uh, a PS5 exclusive, but if I can get this game on PC, you, I, you bet your bottom dollar I'll be streaming this game. And the humor is is actually really funny. So check out Baby Steps. Uh, that looks like a fun one. Now they went into Ghostbusters. It, 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 I was interested at first because Ghostbusters is amazing, but then. Uh, they ruin it with this teeny popper spunk stuff. And it's like, don't ruin with what's already there. I, I like you, you have an awesome license, which is the ghostbusters. Give us a, give us a, uh, a scary, dark ghostbuster game. Don't give me this multiplayer. Hey, everything's fun. Let's catch ghosts. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not into it, man. Just not into it. To me, that's, that's, I'm out. I'm out. However, but what looks really, really good is uh, Resident Evil uh, 4 VR mode. This, I'm a little jealous that you guys are getting this on PlayStation. Who knows if they're even going to put this on PC. But boy, talk about immersion. Now, the best game, the best VR game, two of the best VR games that I've ever played. One, Half-Life Alex is by far my number one. Number two, which is, comes very close to number one, is flying around in Elite Dangerous with my Hotas, my throttle and stick. It is phenomenal, amazing experiences. This Resident Evil 4 will probably be right up there for uh, VR games. So I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you guys. Not only that, you're going to get um, a new, I don't know can, if it's DL, paid DLC, free DLC with Ada Wong called Separate Ways. So that'll, that'll keep some life um, in, in Resident Evil 4. Hey, my, my buddies and I, shout out to uh, The Interlace and Ninja Toidles. We're waiting for a $20 price tag on Resident Evil 4. $20 or bust. I, and I've been buying the Resident Evil games day, the remakes day one, but I tapped out. Uh, a game that I'm definitely not interested in and just, I'm sorry if, if you don't like my opinion on this, uh, Avatar. Don't care about the movies. Saw the first one in theaters. Haven't seen the second one and I, could, I really don't care about frontiers of pandora i it's just if you're into if you're excited that's great i don't care about it we're moving we're moving on um now for the last two games they impressed me greatly spider-man 2 looks absolutely insane uh some of the things they brushed on is some new abilities so he's got like web web wings to traverse through and fly through the cities faster Obviously, the graphics look fantastic. Uh, new upgrading abilities. Uh, you can switch back and forth between the two Spider-Mans uh, very quickly. And what blows my mind is there's 65 costumes. 65! That's, this is a uh, Spider-Man fan's wet dream here. I haven't played the previous Spider-Man game. I do have a PS4. Uh, I could pro I could play the, the the previous one on PC, but 
I'll I'll get there eventually. My my backlog is is pretty high. Okay, so Spider Man Two looked just so good. So I, I'm excited for that. And and I will say though, Final Fantasy Rebirth. Holy cow! I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps just thinking about it. Can you see them? Oh man. Um, it, it it has the golden nugget. We we get a glimpse of the ultimate weapon. Um, got red thirteen. Holy cow! So it, like, though I didn't I didn't see Sid. And 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 don't don't get on my case here. Okay, I haven't played Final Fantasy VII remake that was released a couple years ago. Nani? So I know I know. How can I be talking about this game and be excited for it when I haven't even played it? Well, I've, I've beaten the original one several times. Okay, so give me a break. But boy, uh, Final Fantasy VII is looking chef's kiss. So I'm really hyped about that. Release date on that one, I believe, is February. Who won, though, today? Was it Nintendo or Sony? State of play packed a punch. Like, there's some really, really great games coming out. And it wasn't overbloated. Uh, and like I said, it's really, it's really starting. It's really, it's, Switch has showed its age, but boy, you look at State of Play stuff, and you're like, wow. Let me know if, down in the comments what you guys think. What games are you excited for? Who, who, who won today? Sony or Nintendo, if you watch the directs? How hyped are you for Spider-Man and uh, Final Fantasy VII? Like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Keep those subs coming because, uh, boy, you guys have been really making my week and particularly my day today. So that's some news. I'll talk to you soon.